Have you ever been caught in a lie before? As a kid, maybe you broke something in your bedroom. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? Ah! Oh, God! Brennan! Brennan! <laughs> you made a mistake, <laughs> but you don't want to get in trouble. So you try to lie your way out of it. Tell a little fib. Lamp broke on its own. Maybe the dog did it. You just don't want to face the consequences. As a kid, you can kind of get away with it. But as an adult, you need to take the heat. Sorry, I ruined your lives and crammed 11 cookies into the VCR. But today we have a president who can't own up to anything. And no matter how many times he blows it, nobody ever pays a price. Gas prices keep breaking records. That's Putin's fault. There's no baby formula. Come on, man. He's not a mind reader. They botched Afghanistan. We left hundreds behind enemy lines. Marines died. Billions of weapons left there. But no one in the administration was fired. Blinken, Austin, Milley, they're all still there. Jerome Powell flooded our economy with funny money, missed inflation. Did Biden cut him loose? No, he rehired him as Fed chair. The administration didn't see Delta or Omicron waves coming, was short on testing. Fauci's still hanging around. Is the doctor still in quarantine, by the way? COVID must really be doing a number on him. And how is it that the French lady still has a job? So um, the board has never convened. Uh, it uh, so that's it, it never convened, and it, and the board is uh, is yes, the board is uh, is is pausing, in the sense that it will not convene. The worse you are at your job, the more job security you have in the Biden administration. Nobody fails up like the Secretary of Homeland Security, though. There has never been more illegal border crossings under any administration in American history as there have been under this president. How the hell does Secretary Mayorkas still come to work and collect a paycheck at this point? Even Mayorkas can't believe he hasn't been given a pink slip. You know, the only people in the Biden administration actually doing their jobs well were these Border Patrol agents on horseback. Back in September, a shanty town of Haitians, 30,000 strong, formed under a bridge in Del Rio, Texas. Think about that. It's enough people to fill Fenway Park. We're crammed under a bridge in Texas September heat, itching to break through the border. It was a humanitarian crisis caused by Biden's broken border policies. And of course, Border Patrol had to go in and clean up Joe's mess. In the process of doing their actual job, something the rest of this White House knows nothing about, pictures circulated online of them containing the situation. Since they were on horseback, naturally, they had the reins of their horses in their hands. It didn't take long for the left-wing media to hatch a hoax, falsely accusing them of whipping Haitians. There is more outrage tonight after disturbing images showed Border Patrol agents on horseback swinging what appeared to be horse reins. The images we saw from Del Rio are uh, painful to watch. It's painful, disgusted, I mean, outraged. Outrage over these images showing desperate migrants. Really shocking footage uh, that obviously horrified. Those searing images linger on. They certainly do. The administration, as cunning as they are dumb, ran with the hoax and attacked their own employees. Due process be damned. Kamala Harris said this reminded her of slavery because everything reminds her of slavery. There needs to be consequence and accountability. It also evoked images of some of the worst moments of our history, where that kind of behavior has been used against the indigenous people of our country, has been used against African Americans during times of slavery. The images reminded Mayorkas of slavery, too. What are the chances? Using us in terms of what they suggest and what they conjure up in terms of not only our nation's history, but unfortunately the fact that that page of history has not been turned entirely. Notice how this has nothing to do with slavery at all, but Democrats see this and think of slavery. I didn't see this and think of slavery, did you? The party that fought a civil war to keep their slaves still to this day sees slavery everywhere like a Rorschach test. 
they all need to see shrinks. And Joe Biden, who isn't embarrassed by Hunter, his approval ratings, or the dreadful scenes at the Kabul airport, finally found something to be embarrassed by. But it was horrible what to see, as you saw. To see people treated like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you, those people will pay. They will be an investigation underway now, and there will be consequences. There will be consequences. It's an embarrassment, but it's beyond an embarrassment. Biden is embarrassed when Border Patrol agents do their job and secure the border. And these agents will pay for doing their job. Nobody does their job well in the Biden administration and gets away with it. There will be consequences. So today, nearly 10 months after the incident, we get the results of their little internal investigation. OPR investigators determined that the agents involved in the Del Rio activity were not carrying whips. After a careful review and analysis of videos, photos, and eyewitness accounts, this included an interview with a photographer on the scene and other members of the media, OPR found no evidence Border Patrol agents involved in this incident struck any person with their reins intentionally or otherwise. Great. So the video proves it. Our Border Patrol did nothing wrong. Didn't whip anybody. They kept order and secured the border. Case closed. You'd think our president and his administration would handle this like adults and apologize for slandering the agents and move on. Uh-uh-uh. That's where you're wrong. Instead, they decided to punish the agents anyway. As a result of these findings, the board proposed specific disciplinary actions for four of the CBP personnel involved. I'm not going to be discussing specifics of the disciplinary proposals today. Punishment for what? You just said they didn't whip anybody. What's going on? Well, what Fox is hearing from federal sources is that punishment will be two weeks of unpaid suspension simply for doing their job. But wait, they didn't whip or strike anybody, so what are they being punished for? One agent acted in an unprofessional manner by yelling, denigrating, and offensive comments regarding a migrant's national origin and gender. This same agent acted in an unsafe manner by forcing his horse to narrowly maneuver around a small child on a slanted concrete ramp Several mounted agents used force or the threat of force to drive migrants back into the Rio Grande River. This is like getting pulled over by the cops, but they have nothing to charge you with, so they write you a ticket for your windows being too tinted. They're being punished so the Biden administration can save face. And what did they even say that was so offensive? Well, according to our own Fox reporter in the room, it was, quote, hey, you use your women? This is why your country's bleep. You use your women for this. That's it. One agent tried to shame the illegals out of crossing by using his words instead of his whip, which he didn't have. Rode his horse near a kid. <laughs> what was he supposed to be doing? Social distancing? And you're not allowed to curse if you're a federal employee? Well, I got news for you, Joe. What a stupid son of a bitch. And if Biden knew anything about law enforcement, he'd know the importance of mounted patrols. That's desert terrain out there, full of rocks, uneven surfaces, and rivers. You can't just roll a Jeep out there. You need a horse. And it's not just at the border. Mounted horse patrols are used to keep order in big cities all across the country, like New York, Chicago, Dallas. So why were these poor agents punished? Is it because this administration is obsessed with race? They don't want to give any impression to their base that they're actually defending the border. So a white man protecting the border from a black migrant just won't fly. They don't like the optics. The race and the horse makes the Democratic Party feel guilty and embarrassed. But what they're really ashamed by is that they were the party of slavery. And they're taking that out on the innocent Border Patrol agents. So they seized on a hoax to punish the good guys, just like they did with Jussie Smollett. At this point, it seems like Biden is taking his cues from one of America's great philosophers, George Costanza. Just remember, 
It's not a lie if you believe it. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.